Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikanth and uh, today's video is gonna see how to identify a missing element in an array, right? Uh, so before proceeding that one, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, uh, please do subscribe it immediately. I am uploading uh, different data structure videos, different uh, Spring and Java related videos and definitely uh, you will be uh, getting benefited out of it. Uh, so this is my channel and here you can see lot of git uh, git videos are there and crud application code coverage and a uh, lot of other videos are there right so if you are really interested you uh, you can uh, watch those videos as well right so this uh, today's let's move to today's topic so how to identify a missing element in an array it's very it's very pretty easy i mean uh, within within five to ten minutes we will gonna complete this video okay so there are different ways are there how to uh, identify that missing element in that array suppose for example two arrays are there right if you see here array one and array two if you see in array array one 30 20 10 5 6 7 8 right 30 20 10 5 6 7 8 is there number of elements right so and what what was the missing element you can identify it's eight right if you consider in array two what was the missing element it's eight right so how to identify that missing element okay so let me tell you one approach so first approach what you can do you can take this array number one array and you can compare each element in array 2 if it is not there then it is unique not unique. I mean it's a missing suppose let's say 30 I am comparing 30 with 30 30 with sorry 30 with 20 I need to compare like this 30 with 10 30 with 5 6 7 but 30 already we have identified right so we don't need to compare so like this either one for loop we can go for or else uh, one more one more thing is that one more way one is using two for loop using two for loop right one is i mean in outer in outer loop we will take one one element and we will compare with that second array this is one way what is the second way let's convert this array into array list right if you are aware about collection api then we need to convert this two arrays into array list right we need to convert this two arrays into array list then what we need to do we need to remove from this array sorry from this list we need to remove this list remove all suppose this is we have converted this uh, array into a l 2 and this is a l 1 then what we can do we can do a l 1 dot remove all remove all of a l 1 so this is one way using collection right you got it right two ways one is using for loop to for loop another is uh, you can convert these two arrays into array list and you can remove like this al1 wherever that uh, non missing element is there i mean entire array, entire arrays uh, entire sorry entire elements are there convert that that one into list and wherever missing missing is there convert that uh, array also into one list then you can do like this al al1 dot remove remove all of l2 so that you will get in the in that uh, what you can say in that list you can you can have only eight all these elements will be removed right all these elements will be removed so this is second way so third way which which i am going to implement so what we can do this is pretty easy so what we can do 
will do a sum of all those elements suppose this is array 2 right so we'll sum of all those elements so what are, what is the sum 30 plus 20 how much 50 50 plus 60 30 plus 20 50 50 50 plus 10 60 60 plus 5 65 65 plus 6 what is it's 71 71 right 71 plus 7 how much 78 right so array 1 summation is sorry array 2 summation is 78 78 so what is that array 1 sum 30 plus 20 50 50 plus 10 60 60 plus 5 65 65 plus 6 71 71 plus 7 78 78 plus 8 how much 78 plus 8 how much 86 right it's 86 right so what we can do we can do 86 minus 78 so how much 16 minus 8 8 so this is the answer right so what we can do we need first we need to do sum of all elements of array 2 then again sum of all elements of array 1 right then what we can do after doing those all those sum we need to subtract right so we need to subtract this subtract this summations then we'll get whatever that missing element but this is applicable to question if only only one element is missing right you have given two errors but only one element is missing that time we can apply this method right so we can sum array 1 we can sum array 2 and we can uh, do a subtraction from array, array 1 to array 2 right hope you got a clear picture about it so now uh, let's write a program for this one okay let me open my IntelliJ idea so this is pretty easy simple this is a simple logic mathematical logic ideally this is in uh, mathematical logic so we'll easily get that uh, whatever that missing elements missing element only only one element right otherwise we cannot uh, do this logic over here if single element is missing then we can go for this approach okay let me uh, let's open this uh, IntelliJ idea it's taking some time to load either we can whatever the ID uh, you can you can have okay let me write uh, in that only right some other program is there here over over here so let me write uh, let's close so here uh, let me create one more class new java class find missing find missing element ELE M E N T in A R R A Y. So you can get this uh, code in my GitHub account. I will uh, post this repo in my description section. If you want those uh, codings, then you can take those stuffs. You can clone or you can download that GIF, whatever you can do. Public static. Uh, what we can do int int find missing or find okay so here what we can pass we'll pass an integer array int array 
symbol arr so two uh, two array we need to pass right int array array one array two will take that will be gold array let's take array two this is array one okay here we go so what we can do mm, sum int array one sum array one sum equal to zero or int i equal to zero i less than array one dot length and i plus plus right so ideally people will confuse here if i will take i equal to zero then array dot it's i less than less than if i will take array sorry if i will take i equal to one then it, then it, it it can be i less than equal to right people will confuse with this statement no need to confuse in that one because rs index start from zero so if you are starting from zero then i should be less than array dot length so we will not get array index out of bound exception okay so array sum array sum plus equal to array of i sorry array one this should be okay so this is for one and let me uh, copy paste array as a developer we should always copy paste right <laughs> okay lot of time people will copy paste i also used to do copy paste no worries in that one right no wonder in that one okay int uh array to array to sum right and here array to of array to okay here we go okay we got it right so here suppose array one will consider array 2 will consider there will have missing element right so for that one array 1 sorry this array 1 sum minus array 2 sum right here r e t u r n written we have done right now let's see uh we'll we'll call this method and we'll see whether uh, we are getting the appropriate result or not so find let's have two arrays int array array one equal to new int of new int of what 20 30 10 8 9 7 suppose 7 will miss right let's have uh, we'll take this one as a reverse okay let's check like this okay so here we'll pass array 1 and array 2 right and oh error 2 okay so here we'll have the sysout system dot out dot print ln and over here one parenthesis okay okay we have done right so what we are doing let me again explain you quickly so we are passing here to rs right so in array 2 we do have missing elements one missing element right so array 1 we are passing here array 2 we are passing here what we are doing we are iterating over array 1 and we are finding summation of all those elements and again in the second array we are iterating over all those elements and we are summation we are doing a sum right then what we are doing we are uh, subtracting from array 1 sum minus array 2 sum right so this is the solution let me run this one okay So if you see we are getting 7 right so 7 is missing from element uh, array 2 now let's have some more test cases suppose i am adding here uh, 100 
hundred and thirty five hundred and thirty five mm adding and here nine I am removing hundred thirty five let's add over hundred right so hundred and thirty five we have added in the second array but in that first array we have added hundred oh in first array we need to add thirty five in the second array we, we need to have missing things right so I have added 35 and 100 in array 1 and in array 2 35 is missing I guess no not 35 so 7 7 let's remove 7 okay here we go here we go uh, 20 sorry 2030 10 8 9 I, I got I mess up everything <laughs> okay 8 here 9 should be there oh into a why so much okay so now 7 is missing right let's put over here uh, 100 it should be 100 right so in the second array 100 is missing right now so let me run over run it again so you can see 100 right so this is the entire uh, program in that uh, three ways I have explained. Hope you people uh, got a little bit idea about it. So if you like this video, please uh, do like it and comment in that comment box, right? So really uh, a single comment uh, uh, will boost my energy to come up with some more videos like this, right? So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.